Hey, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, small business and shopping small. So every year on, I think it's November 28th, uh, Chamber of Commerce throughout the country put on what they call Small Business Saturday. It's basically just a time in which uh, these chambers promote shopping small. Uh, my company participated in the small business Saturday last year and it was a it was a good success um, and the chamber here locally in Livingston Parish Louisiana is very active with small business Saturday so I started thinking today small business is very important uh, part of my personality I like to shop small I like to support local business. So a lot of people ask me why, you know, what, it, why am I so passionate about that? So I, I wrote down a few things I wanted to cover with you today uh, as to why, um, you know, in small business, uh, used to be a huge thing. Uh, obviously there wasn't, Tons of corporations back in the 1920s and 30s. Um, basically, everything was operated back in those days by um, independent owners. You know, shoe stores, clothing stores, jewelry stores, you name it. They were all supported by their local uh, people. Then the 1950s swung around. The interstate system, you know, came through all these... Uh, all these towns in America and that kind of led to this construction of shopping malls and things like that. Um, kind of took the, the commerce away from downtown because it was just easier for people to get to places. And really in the, the last 15 years, uh, these malls and, and big box stores and things like that have just exploded and it's it's really hurt um, small business. So like I say, they they you know the Chamber of Commerce came up with small business Saturday as a way to, to promote small business in communities. Um, and that kind of leads me to one of the reasons I, I'm so passionate about small business, and that's because small business gives back to the community. You know, when you spend your money in your neighborhood, where you live, your tax dollars or your sales tax dollars stay right there in that neighborhood. You can fund all kinds of things with that. All these public things that, that we fund are based off of that. So you fund things like education, parks, street improvements, uh, vital services like firefighting and police. You know, all of those things are funded primarily by small, uh, small business tax dollars. Um, big business, to, you know, funds that stuff too. But the problem is a lot of that money is funneled out of your neighborhood. So that's a big reason that, that I support small business. Another reason is local store owners. They create local jobs. Um, the SBA, not too long ago, added 8 million jobs to the economy that they could directly attribute to local business. Now, that's that. I believe that study was since 1990, but still 8 million jobs while the expansion of these large chains only produced 4 million jobs. So the, the truth of the matter is uh, local business creates more jobs than, than uh, national chains and things like that. Another reason I support, uh, you know, it, and am so passionate about small business is local owners typically buy local services themselves. You know, independent local businesses go in their community to buy and support services they need. Whether you're an architect, a designer, a cabinet shop, a painter, a sign maker, a contractor for construction, you you name it, uh, they they typically do business with each other. 
You know, most people that own businesses realize how important it is to buy from family-owned businesses. So that's a that's another reason uh, I'm very passionate about it. Um, local establishments typically provide better customer service than you're going to find at a a big box. Uh, you know, it, that's not always the case, but it's typically the case. If you if you go into a, a locally owned business, I guess you could say it means something to them that you're in there. They've got a little more skin in the game locally, um, so they tend to take care of you a little better. Uh, they rely on the great customer service, as a matter of fact, to compete with those larger organizations. So that's an, that's another reason I like to to support these businesses. Another reason I'm passionate about it, it just feels good to help neighbors and friends succeed in their business. Uh, There's something special about knowing somebody that works at a store that you frequent that is locally owned or they're the owner of the store and you can walk in and you can, you know, ask about their family, congratulate them on their wedding anniversary, whatever it is. And there's a little comfort there in that. So that... That's a, another good, uh, good reason that I, I am so passionate about uh, family-owned business. You know, it's also, though, at, it, probably more than anything else, it's about preserving your community. Um, the disappearance of local businesses cause havoc in a community. It leaves a social and economic void um, that, even when it goes unmeasured, uh, you know, you see it. it. If businesses start closing these local businesses, it's going to cause issues with just blight in the community. It's going to cause obviously economic issues because people are going to be out of work. But, you know, if, if everybody has that attitude to support their small business, and they really catch how important it is, um, it can really create a life-changing experience for the entire community. I did Leadership Livingston this year, which is another uh, 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 community-sponsored initiative, I guess you could say, by the Chamber of Commerce, and a lot of the focus was about preserving your community. And... um, and I learned a lot, and one of the things I learned is why I am so passionate about, you know, supporting small business in general. So I hope you'll you'll kind of consider these things maybe when you're when you're planning on doing some shopping somewhere and and support your small locally owned businesses, your family owned businesses, um, and and realize that you're really doing a good thing for your community when you do that. It's very, very important. Uh, consider joining your chamber of commerce if you're a business owner, because those chambers, um, those are the people that go out there and they do tons of good things. But one of the things I really like is they lobby for small businesses' rights. Um, they're kind of the voice out there lobbying for you know, small business in, at the Capitol. So it's very important to support uh, your Chamber of Commerce, especially if you're a, a local business. So thank you for listening. Um, I'm going to bring you an interview here real soon, as a matter of fact, uh, in just a couple of days with uh, Lori Johnson, who is the Vice President of Hancock Whitney Bank on Range Avenue. We're going to have a great discussion. We're going to talk a little bit about PP. Uh, PPP loans and a uh, little history on Hancock Whitney um, and a little history on Lori Johnson. So I hope you'll uh, you'll listen and and uh, and get something out of that. So we'll see you next time. Thanks. <laughs>